fall into a deep, peaceful sleep with four hours of storytelling for grown-ups. You're listening to Into the Forest, a collection of seven sleep stories set in various woodlands locations. From fantasies and fairy tales to grounding and healing moments in the woodlands where you reconnect with nature and with yourself. At the end of each story, you arrive at a unique dwelling. From tree houses to cottages to a bamboo hut. John Muir expressed, Come to the woods, for here is rest. There is no repose like that of the green, deep woods. Sleep in forgetfulness of all ill. And as you sleep and forget of all the ills of the world, you invite wellness and healing into your life. In the deep silence and serenity of the forest, you hear your inner voice rising and giving you guidance to live a joyous and fulfilling life. You may drift from one story to the next with the grace of a fallen leaf surrendering to a soft breeze before it gracefully lands on the forest floor. You may customize this experience in the way that suits you best and skip ahead of the guided meditation to the stories if you prefer, or you may listen as is and allow yourself to be swept away in a blissful state that comes from a meditative practice. At any point, you may let go of my voice and fall asleep. You know your needs and I urge you to honor them. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen to my voice, think of it as the voice of a dear old friend who is here to remind you that you deserve a break. You have made it through another day. In a world that can oftentimes be stressful, you are worthy of peace and joy and let your journey towards sleep begin right now. This is a sacred time before you drift across a bridge to your beautiful dreamscape. Now is your time that is reserved for surrendering and feeling good. Everything else can wait. Now is the time to activate your imagination to self-soothe and create a magical inner sanctuary. Get cozy and snuggly and wiggle until you are as comfortable as you can get. Your body becomes heavy as you sink deeper into your bed. Your eyelids become heavy as they fall upon your tired eyes. Your guard comes down. Your heart and mind open to the limitless magic about to unfold in the forest. Trees give us life. They release oxygen into the atmosphere that we are so fortunate to breathe. With this in mind, let out a deep sigh. Let everything go and then inhale, imagining a lush forest basking in shimmering golden sunlight. As you sip in the night air, Feel gratitude for the abundance of oxygen available to you. Give gratitude for the trees and forests of the world. 
and then exhale through pursed lips as if you are blowing through a straw. Just as the night breeze blows away loose leaves, your breath blows away unnecessary thoughts or concerns. You take in another deep breath and remember this time is for feeling good. This breath fills you with vitality and comfort. You imagine the oxygen molecules traveling to every cell in your body with a message. You are well. Exhale in a feel-good sigh. Make a sound if it elevates your experience. And when you're ready, take in one more breath as slowly as you can. Sip in the air through your lips or nose, savoring it as much as you would a favorite treat. Feel your body expand and enjoy the pleasure of expansion. Take up all the space you need and sigh, let go. Congratulate yourself for the sanctuary you have created. Now ready to imagine as the storytelling begins. The Enchanted Forest of Lilydale. There is a unique feeling that comes when behind the wheel of a car, open to adventure on the road. The right car paired with the right journey can empower you to discover a new world. You imagine yourself seated in a car custom to your preferences on the way to the enchanted forest of Lilydale. It is hours before dawn and you enjoy the quietude of the highway that slithers and winds through lush forest over bridges that cover tiny streams beneath the deep blue-black velvet sky above. You have journeyed at this time, so you may fully enjoy the experience of Lilydale. As a new day rises, and you have the entire day ahead to commune with nature, A dew forms on the emerald green grass of the shoulder as the pavement rolls beneath your tires and you easily accelerate and continue on a highway, knowing you are getting closer. The horizon now becoming a gradient of dark and lighter blues as dawn approaches and you crack the window a bit so you may take in the cool, intoxicating perfume of damp grass and pine and wet, fertile earth. The gentle hum of the car is trance-inducing and reminds you of childhood trips where adventure awaited and you felt so hypnotized by the watercolor blear of verdant trees and mile markers as the car sped onwards, passing by towns that held the stories of many souls. And just like the sleepy highway at this hour, Lilydale will offer an equally sleepy environment in this off-season, and you look forward to the solitude and time for self-reflection. As you wind around the edge of Casadaga Lake, the road turns into Main Street, and you slow down, noticing the dark homes that populate the street, as most of the townspeople are still asleep. But for the occasional lamp in a window, 
that is turned on for those early risers. The smell of wood stoves burning marries the damp air as a foggy mist moves in slowly, further illuminated by the headlights of your vehicle. You take in a deep breath and just sigh out all the tension of the travel and all that you may wish to escape on this getaway. You are quite close and recall the advice of an old lady in Buffalo who gave you directions to Lilydale. Before taking this journey, you decided no technology would be welcome and sought directions the old-fashioned way by inquiring advice from an old-timer and then relying on your instincts and memory. You come upon a turn and take a right, leading you towards the opening gates of Lilydale. During the high season, someone would be guarding the entryway, but for now the gates remain opened and you pull in where you are greeted by the iconic statue of a fairy tending to squirrels. You turn towards a parking section and park your car before stepping out of the vehicle when you go to the trunk to grab your backpack which has been lightly packed for an overnight trip. In a side pocket is a thermos, which you remove and hold in your hand as you hoist the shoulder straps around you before closing the trunk. The sound echoes through the otherwise quiet village with merely a symphony of crickets and frogs that play on into the morning approach. You set out towards the woods where those of the community have adorned trees with fairies and miniature storybook homes and colorful sculptures and pieces of art. You feel the damp earth beneath your feet giving like molds with the occasional imprint of each step you take. An occasional leaf and twig crunches beneath your feet as you find yourself comfortably embraced by the old white pines of the forest as the sun begins to crest and rays of light create prisms with the morning dew that covers the leaves and forest floor. And something about this light, golden and warm, is like an elixir of kindness that fills the rich forest with a feeling of safety and harmony you feel an inner peace and wisdom and deep trust that you are exactly where you need to be right now. That whatever has played out in your life thus far, welcome or unwelcome, has led you to this place and you maintain gratitude for being here which means you also are able to find acceptance for all that has come before because if one moment in the span of your lifetime had played out in any other way, you would not be here. And you very much enjoy being here. 
among the ornate fairies, adorned in tulle and sequins, are also reflecting back prisms and pops of color amongst the canvas of vibrant greens and earth-toned browns. So sparkly and new is this day, as is every day, giving you the chance to begin again and to start with a clean slate. You watch as a brown bunny hops across the trail as you open your thermos and drink your favorite warm beverage that is much appreciated on this brisk morning. The sun rises higher, filtering through the branches of trees and casting shadows upon the ground and your face like dark lace doilies. You have this sense of ease and relaxation in your lungs as if the weight of an elephant's hoof has been removed from your sternum. You feel as if you are even floating and drifting through the misty air of this enchanted forest. The air so fresh and purifying. You can feel yourself being cleansed with each breath as all of your chakras, your centers of energy in your body are activated in a warm and tingling manner. Your spine is like a string of taut pearls that is in perfect alignment. And your whole body in turn feels this alignment and balance. You feel deeply in touch with a part of you that has always been there. The consciousness and awareness that has always been you. The observer inside that is here to direct the life story that is your story to live, to breathe, and to tell. And you identify with the uniqueness that is you. Right now, at peace and alive. Inhaling and exhaling as each breath is a meditation and a solid reminder that you are still here. It is never too late so long as you have each breath to create, to dream, to laugh, to thrive. And you are not merely someone who survives. You are here to thrive. Much like the tall white pine trees that surround you like a wall of protection. They have weathered many a harsh winter. They have weathered the advent of human technology and carry such history in their roots, their trunks, and branches. And you look to carry your own history with as much dignity and detachment, weathering every storm of your life. 
that may have appeared without your own design. But you are able to be flexible and strong by being adaptable and by letting go of what no longer serves you you may come out ahead and as it is approaching midday you come upon inspiration stump the gathering place where twice a day mediums convene and channel those no longer in the physical realm. But today, the park benches remain vacant and you come upon the wide stump covered with moss as stairs lead to its top. You choose to sit on the forest floor connecting to the earth below as you close your eyes and feel grounded and connected. And in this space for meditation and communing with nature, you start to hear a gentle whisper Perhaps it is the voice of a loved one who is no longer in the physical realm. Perhaps it is your inner self. Or perhaps it is a past, or perhaps it is a past or future version of you. Letting yourself go deeper as a gentle breeze creates a wave of goosebumps on your exposed skin and your scalp begins to tingle. You go deeper and deeper within and take in this guidance, this gentle whisper that finds you and you just listen. Whatever it is you have been wondering or seeking, the roadmap has been within you all along. And right now, you are finding the revelation is here. You are connected to your sixth sense and the physical manifestation that it presents in your body. And feeling this right now, you are released from all judgment and criticisms. You are an alive being connected to your own life force and feeling that all your worries and concerns are no longer worthy of your attention. But this peaceful bliss and faith that was with you the moment you breathed your first breath of air as a baby, when you had no other option but to trust. You feel in the midst of this tranquil enchanted forest that your only option is to trust. Inhaling and exhaling, deep trust understanding, peace. You open your eyes and realize much time has passed, although it only felt like mere seconds. You are hungry and decide to venture towards the beach. 
where you may enjoy your bagged lunch and take in the lapping waves of the Casadaga Lake. You stand and walk back through the forest until you approach a street and walk through the heart of town, letting your intuition guide you. You smell the mineral aroma of the lake and allow this fragrance to lead you until you make it to the water's edge. The town, though sparsely populated this time of year, is beginning to awaken and you pass a woman walking her friendly dog. The pup's mouth opens in a smile when she meets your gaze and you bend down to pet her and feel the same connection to this dog as you do to nature and the life around you in the heart of the forest. Continuing on as you come upon the shore you walk the wraparound beach. Today you are the sole visitor and you find a wooden bench upon which you sit, running your hand along the weathered, splintered wood of the fixture and carved within the seat is the phrase, choose love. And you realize you are doing just that. Starting with self-love. Nourishing your soul on this getaway. You remove a sandwich from your backpack and begin to satiate your hunger. Watching the ripples of blue-gray water that come upon the shore. Enchanting, taken by the flow of the water and watching as reeds of tall grass give to each ripple and knowing that you too are most content when you go with the flow and surrender to the bigness of your life because your life is so much bigger and greater than what you try to control each day. When plugged into the greater good beyond you, to the limitless potential and energy of the universe, you are able to go with the flow. And in this moment, having finished your lunch and feeling a fullness, you look to the sky that is met with a silhouette of trees across the lake and homes that line the waterfront. Large clouds have moved in and it looks like a storm may come. How much you look forward to the sound of rain falling. With some time to spare before it begins, You walk out onto the dock and bend down, allowing your finger to dance across the top of the lake. You watch the ripples that form from your movement, seeing how even the slightest motion from you has implications and consequences that affect all around you. And you remember this, taking into account the energy you put out, knowing how connected you are to all around you and the impact that you have. You look out upon the lake one last time as it is becoming darker underneath the smoky plum clouds overhead. 
The sun is nearing sunset. As a breeze picks up and brings a slight chill, you hug your arms around you and rub them, enjoying the gentle massage and tactile sensation as you warm yourself. You yawn as a tiredness comes over you and know it is past check-in time as you head to your historic accommodations for the night. You leave the dock and walk across the wet, amber-brown, coarse sand towards the grassy edge of the beach and continue on to the street. From memory, you recall the pattern you must take through the small hamlet streets as you walk by 19th century Victorian homes that have been restored and maintained in rich, deep colors of turquoise and purple, in beige and grays and deep nautical blues, with pastels meeting richly saturated trim and shutters. It feels as though you are in a candy-colored storybook. The homes are close to one another, like strands of a braid. They seem to give the impression of a tightly knit community, and you feel so very welcome as you cross past a local who is tending to his garden and gestures to the storm clouds in a knowing anticipation. You smile and nod in agreement. A drop or two of rain begins to fall as another warning of what is to come. The wind blows and a weather vane spins in the perfectly manicured lawn of the property where you are staying. The sign before it reads, Vacancy. And you walk upon the slate-stoned pathway to the cream-colored stairs that lead to a wraparound porch with thick, hand-carved wooden rails. Atop the stairs on each side is a fairy sculpture to meet you. One fairy is hugging the carving of a heart, while the other is in flight, with a cherub-like face full of glee. You cannot suppress the smile that forms on your lips as you look at the statue, for you have encountered the same childlike wonder and glee today. A brisk wind cuts through the air and the temperature changes so radically and suddenly that the raindrops become snowflakes. First small and slight flurries, then growing like larger white crystals. Lightning dashes across the Casadaga Lake and illuminates the sky. This intense weather front is magical to watch unfold, but with a shiver, you are ready to go indoors. You approach the welcome mat and grasp the engraved brass knob that has an ornate pattern of the tree of life. It feels empowering to grip the cool antique knob as you open the door and a waft of warm air hits your nose. 
It smells of baking spices and potpourri, muted by the smell of old wood floors and antiques and pine burning in a fireplace. The aroma makes you feel instantly cozy and you feel your heart rate instantly lowers as you enter and are greeted by the proprietor. She has placid icy blue eyes that strike you as trustworthy and deep as she instantly peers into your own eyes and gives a warm smile. You feel that she is able to see something prescient and she takes both of your hands into her tiny, delicate and wrinkled fingers. They are electrifying and once again you hear your inner voice telling you to trust her. Welcome to my humble establishment. I have been waiting for you. You have known all along what you feel, what you see, what you understand about life when you are still. It is all true. And just coming to Lilydale lets me know that you are seeking truth. And may your dreams guide you to this truth and visions tonight. And what a special treat. We are in for some thunder snow. You smile and thank her for her kind words as she grabs a skeleton key with a purple fringe tassel keychain and guides you on a tour. She brings you through the greenhouse first, which is just across the foyer and attached to the back of the house. Orchids and roses and lavender and eucalyptus are in bloom, creating an intoxicating elixir in the air. Atop a jewel-toned mosaic table of ceramic are tiny glass vials, and she hands you one that she says will help you to dream and to sleep. You grasp the petite vial in your hand and thank her. As she then leads you back into the main part of the house and a large dining room with lace curtains on the windows and an antique table that is set for fine dining. A fire roars in the fireplace in the corner of the room, creating shadows upon the walls as it begins to snow heavily outside the bay windows. You note you are quite tired, and with understanding she leads you to the stairway, where you run your hand upon the well-worn and smooth banister made of solid oak. Above the stairwell are stained glass skylight windows and shades of turquoise and seafoam green and sapphire and cerulean blue and the pattern of a mermaid's tail. Snow and some sleet patter upon them and begin to melt as streams run down in delicate lines while thunder rolls in the distance and echoes upon the lake. You ascend the stairs and turn right, walking upon a cream-colored plush carpet that sinks like memory foam beneath you. You feel so relaxed and at ease. You feel as if you are home. She brings you to your room and hands you the key. 
before gently squeezing your arm and meeting your eyes in this kind and nurturing gaze. You feel tended to and cared for, arousing feelings of being a child and sheltered from a storm. The interior of the room is dimly lit by an antique Tiffany lamp that creates a colorful pattern upon the walls and plush bed like a kaleidoscope of your favorite hues. It matches the colorful stained glass of the bedroom window. And you feel so tired, so at ease, and so enchanted by the kinetic energy that is encapsulated in the special hamlet called Lilydale. Flannel pajamas are hung on a satin hanger that dangles from a hook on the back of the door. You place the special vial of the sleep tonic on the bed before you go over and read a small tag attached to these pajamas. And it reads your name in calligraphy. You remove your shoes and clothing and exchange them for the ultra-soft pajamas, feeling so comfortable, so ready to snuggle into the plush velvet comforter on the bed. The steam pipe radiator, old-fashioned, and even older than you are, begins to clank and moan and hiss. It's comforting and takes you back to an earlier time. You get into the bed and grab the vial of the sleep tonic, pulling the crisp cotton sheets back and going beneath them and the deep burgundy velvet comforter. Your head nestles into the down pillows as you pull the covers directly below your chin. You open the vial and dab droplets of the oil on your temples and your collarbone, feeling a soothing and minty sensation. It's a soporific experience for you as the snow continues to fall outside and memories are conjured of your first snowball and riding down a hill on a sleigh. These series of firsts that when remembered feel as clean and new as the fresh layer of snow that is falling outside. You inhale deeply and yawn, closing your eyes and sinking down, down, down. This home has a personality and it reflects that of the kind proprietor who welcomed you. You just know this night will give you a series of dreams that will impact you for years to come. As the magical thunder snow continues to illuminate the night with thunder rolling in the distance as the wind howls outside the window. You feel as safe and cozy as the hundreds of years of those inhabiting this house before you have felt. You feel gratitude like a tingling wave of warmth across your body. You are exactly where you need to be. You are right where you belong. Right now. 
and you may let go of this moment, letting the deep stillness within guide you down, 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 down to the steps of a bridge that wait for you, just like the steps leading to the inspiration stump. These lead you to the bridge of inspiration that connects you to your dreaming life, where you are safe to reconcile all your desires, safe to let the imaginative part of your mind take hold and guide you to a place for healing, for manifesting, and for embracing the uniqueness of your own spirit. And you may answer to the beckoning of sleep or embark on a new adventure with the next story. Foggy night in the redwoods. You find yourself walking upon the emerald green grassy shoulder of a silvery gray ribbon of highway that weaves around a forest of redwood trees in Northern California. You feel your feet as they press upon the soft, damp grass that is dewy and aromatic. As you inhale, you take in the smells of evergreen and rich, wet earth. The air so crisp and clean, it feels mentholated as it enters your airway. And you think of this motto, when I breathe, I hope. With each new breath comes a sense of hope. You are accompanied on this nature's walk with a companion of your choice. Perhaps it is a friend or dear loved one from the past or present. Perhaps it is a pet. Perhaps it is a spirit animal. You choose who to bring along on this spiritual trek tonight. A falcon soars overhead brave and regal against the lavender gray sky. A mist is in the air, like floating gossamer in the breeze, as it wafts around the trunks of sequoia trees. The softest of salinity travels on this fog from the nearby Pacific Ocean and you taste it on the droplets that form upon your lips. You enter an unmarked trail that is lined with mulch that gives beneath your shoes. You meet the eye of your companion, feeling a deep connection and sense of adventure to be united in this escape. For you have traveled far for this moment in time, seeking to relish every sensation. The stillness in the air that is cool and makes you grateful for your warm pullover and soft worn jeans. And on your shoulders you wear a hiking backpack that contains necessary items for this journey and feel snug against your body. You feel your own strength and endurance as you trek onward and recognize all the working parts of your body that function even when you do not pay mind to them. Loose branches snap beneath your feet as you see a red fox burrowed in a den off the path with two baby foxes. 
they peer at you in curiosity and you feel just as curious as you catch their dark, beady eyes. Feeling connected with the very nature of living in the present moment, not stuck in the past or worried about the future. You take in a deep inhalation and sigh out any thoughts that challenge you and you let go of anything that was in the way before and caused you to seek out the sanctuary and refuge. The redwood forest is comprised of trees known as the sequoia tree a coniferous tree that can live as long as 3,000 years. The largest sequoia is taller than a 26-story skyscraper. And as you find yourself deeper in the forest, the sky begins to disappear behind the lush branches as you look up to these trees as if reaching towards the twilight sky. These trees are so tall and proud that you find yourself standing taller and with confidence as you walk among them. Sequoias may grow to be so wide, it takes six people stretched from head to toe to fit within their diameters and you stand still for a moment as you find yourself surrounded by so many sequoia trees you cannot see where the forest begins or ends you are in the heart of the redwoods and begin forest bathing a term used by the Japanese where you slow down and awaken your senses and take in your relationship with yourself and the landscape around you. You feel your heartbeat slow. You feel the goosebumps that form upon your arms and legs, your neck and spine, as your hair raises and you recognize in the moment that you are alive, that you are life. And as there was never a voice that told a sequoia not to stand tall and to grow and expand, you may silence any voices, your own or those of others that echo in your mind. When they come up, and hold you back from your own potential. And in this shared moment with your companion, you surrender to the feeling of trust that you feel right now, that you are enough as you are, that you have the unlimited potential to grow and to learn and to expand. And these ancient trees around you stand as testimony to that. They have grown exponentially from a tiny seed that was nurtured for hundreds or thousands of years. And the foggy mist is but a blanket that surrounds their roots and the earth, that surrounds their trunks with bark as thick as the length of your arm. And you walk to a tree, the sequoia that feels most comforting and welcoming to you, and press your palm delicately upon the bark. You crane your neck to see the top of the tree as the weight of your backpack enables you to bend backwards with ease. 
feeling your eyelashes land below your brows as you look up to the majestic tree. And you hear a whisper upon the wind that encourages you to always stand strong, to always stand proud, to reach for the light. Victor Hugo once wrote, love is like a tree it grows of its own accord. It puts down deep roots into our whole being. To love is to nurture. To nurture is to allow growth. And you look to the roots that go deep into the damp red brown earth where water may flow to the tops of the trees and you take a moment to think of the veins within you allowing blood to flow allowing you to have a life force within you you feel so small among the redwoods as if you have been made miniature like a fairy or gnome now journeying through this enchanted forest. The mist swirls around you and your hands cut through the fog, playing with it as you breathe and watch as your breath condenses as well. The mystique is intriguing. As you walk along with your companion who makes you feel safe and that you are not alone because the best of adventures are enjoyed when shared. You feel very fortunate to have this experience. And along the path you come to a fallen sequoia over the trail that has become like a bridge with a hollowed center through which you may pass. Within the darkness of its tunnel, you look to the smooth insides of the tree. You see the delicate lines of the hundreds of rings that have formed within the aging tree before it fell to the earth and transitioned into a new purpose. It's history written inside the wood of the tree, like your own personal history has been etched inside the treasure chest of your own mind. On the other side of the Sequoia Bridge you make out the outline of a lean-to made of wood and this is where you plan to camp out for the night. The fog dances around the area making the setting appear like an impressionist watercolor painting. Bleary and misty in tones of soft grays and whites and you walk along the shadows of the redwoods coming to this special camp just as darkness begins to settle in. You hear the footsteps of another life and look up to see a fawn through the misty air the white polka dots on her tawny brown coat are visible through the fog. And you meet her big eyes for a moment and feel connected and reverent 
to share this beautiful forest with its natural inhabitants. Your companion is with you as you come to the lean-to and remove your bag, setting it beneath the dwelling. Logs are placed like pillars buried deep into the earth as natural moss and branches form a protective roof. There is a stone fire pit just before the lean-to and you gather twigs and pieces of wood from around the forest. As you forage, you enjoy this experience as it reminds you of earlier times in your life when you collected twigs to roast marshmallows before gathering around a fire. When you have a small stack, you place them in the fire pit and grab a lighter from your pocket. The twigs are slightly damp and you take dry needles from the forest floor, put them upon them to help fuel the fire. The smell hits your nose immediately, comforting and relaxing you as you add larger pieces of wood and the fire grows. It warms you and your companion. As you go to your hiking pack and remove a can of soup and a metal pot, you pull the tab off the top of the soup can and pour the ingredients into the pot, which you then hold over the fire as it warms the contents. Once heated, you grab two mugs from your bag and take a seat upon the earth. You pour the soup into the mugs offering one to your companion as you sip from your own mug. When the savory liquid hits your palate, it warms your throat as you feel it cascade into your belly. You are warmed from the inside out, feeling content and at peace in this ritual of gathering by the fire. You focus on the marmalade flames until your mind begins to drift and images appear upon the campfire. A gentle whistle of wind accompanies the night sounds of the forest as you see a face appear within the fire. It's like a flash of a memory projected on a movie screen as this person reminds you that you are loved and wishes you joy and wellness on this retreat that you should remember to take care of your own needs and that the self-care is vital for you to thrive. And you feel the sense of pride in the moment for taking this time for self-care. The sequoia trees around you are illuminated in a soft amber glow from the campfire as their height looms towards the night sky. The fog begins to thicken. Even as you look overhead and the trees disappear within it, 
and the fog is like a soporific spell that makes you feel so tired as you yawn and your companion does as well. You feel so tired and heavy, it almost seems impossible to stand, but you slowly rise and go to your bag and remove your sleeping bag, placing it under the lean-to. Your companion follows you as you get cozy beneath the basic protection of the dwelling. You climb into your sleeping bag, zipping it tightly and pulling it beneath your chin. It feels so special to be cozy and protected and yet still so open and connected with the nature that surrounds you. The fire continues to burn and warms your feet and sleeping bag. And you feel at peace and calm, safe beneath the ancient trees. You tap into the serenity that you have been told about. As the fog continues to roll in and create a cool healing tonic in the air that you inhale through your exposed nose. Breathing in and out as whispers from the sequoias come to you. They lull you to sleep as you hear the words, be brave, stand tall, nurture yourself. For the wisdom within the trees is timeless and you too feel the part of you that is timeless. The part of you that you may connect with and the bridge that brings you to your sleeping life. And you feel the warmth of your companion listening to the sounds of sleep that have found your loved one. And you find yourself sighing, feeling grounded so close to the earth. The firmness of the dirt beneath you supports your back and limbs as you are contained in the safe pod of your sleeping bag. The fire now soft glowing embers that still radiate just enough heat. Letting go as you go deeper and deeper down. Thinking of the layers of embrace how the fog embraces the trees and the lean-to and the trees surround and embrace your spot in this mystical and sacred forest. This is the perfect sanctuary for sleep. Cozy as you now are, you may have the most magical of dreams because nights like tonight are full of possibilities. The fog whispering around you, inspiring loving thoughts and a clean purifying air 
that you inhale and exhale. Your feet so tired and warm, close to the fire. As cool air meets your face, and your body feels in a perfect temperature balance for sleep. You find yourself drifting in and out of consciousness. The happy in between and gateway guiding you from an accomplished day to a healing escape towards sleep. Knowing whatever sleep you receive will be of the utmost restorative quality and allow you to wake up refreshed and eager to start a new day. Drifting, breathing out tension, breathing in gratitude, Noticing how your mind has slowed and you are letting this time exist just for you in this very special place. Deeper and deeper as your body is more and more relaxed. Enjoying every element of this experience the wonderful calm feeling of peace and stillness. Going deeper and deeper into your own thoughts before sleep. Like a lucid dream to the sacred place where only you may go. Floating as if being carried by the fog as it weaves around the redwood trees. You may float on this mystical silvery fog to your dreaming life, or you may let it deliver you to the sanctuary of your room so you may enjoy the next story about to unfold. Treehouse in the woodlands, back in the comfort of your bed, you inhale and exhale to notice the air has changed. It is suddenly cooler and damp, and you feel a mist land on your relaxed lips. The silvery mist forms a cloud around your bed and is a gateway to another world. You feel as if you are floating through time and space. You wear cotton fabric that billows around you and floats on the breeze like a parachute. Your bare feet land on a thick blanket of dewy green moss in a forest comes as no surprise that you would find yourself in this natural landscape, so very far away from the noise and concerns of the world. You have craved quietude and nature, ready to embark on a night of forest bathing and connecting with mother nature, free of gadgets and modern contraptions, free of the hums of electronics and modern devices. Within your heart you feel a welcome flutter. It is a sensation that enlivens your curiosity. This intrigue is allowed to grow when worrisome thoughts are cast away and you can truly tap into feeling alive. A soft breeze blows through the cool forest and covers your body with goosebumps. 
this tingly sensation is amplified by the excitement you feel on this journey. You hear a sound from above, like a flapping bird. There's a soft thud on the forest floor, and you turn to see a dear loved one has arrived to join you. This may be someone you were close to long ago, or someone you have not seen in some time. This person brings you so much joy that your face explodes in a smile as you embrace. The starry night sky casts the woodlands in a marine blue hue. You are led by the shimmering silver light of the buck moon. The air is fragrant with the smell of cedar trees and wet soil. A stream flows in the near distance and the babbling and soft gurgles play out along with the orchestra of chirping crickets and croaking frogs. The air is cool and offers a reprieve from the warm days of summer. You and your companion are overcome by the mystery of landing in the woodlands, eager to explore and yet uncertain what the night holds for you. The green moss below your feet is velvety and lush with perfect droplets of dew that are like tiny crystal balls. You bend down and balance one of the dewy drops on your index finger. It rolls towards your fingertip. Your companion does the same. Illuminated by opal moonbeams, a scene comes to life within the droplet, and you see yourself as a child, playing in the woods and exploring nature. Early memories of raindrops and rainbows, of butterflies and wonders in nature, play out before you. A similar scene plays out within the shiny droplet on your friend's finger. You show one another the memory droplets and your index fingers come together. Like a magnet to metal, the watery beads join one another. They enlarge and float like a soap bubble. And inside this pearly bubble, there is a vision for the future. Within the floating sphere, you see the two of you following a winding mulch path through white birch trees and evergreens until you find a stream that leads you to an elaborate tree house. The orb floats towards the starry sky through the canopy of evergreen trees above. You look into your companion's eyes, which twinkle with the same magical aliveness that illuminates your eyes. Eleanor Roosevelt expressed, the purpose of life is to live it, to taste it, to experience to the utmost, to reach out eagerly and without fear for newer and richer experience. In this journey through the forest, you immerse yourself fully and become in tune with all that happens around you. You rely on all five senses and even engage your sixth sense of intuition. Fireflies hover above the metallic mist, pulsing in shades of chartreuse. The forest is a safe haven, and you feel grounded with every bare step on the damp, plush moss. You step over the roots of trees that curve beneath your feet perfectly and release tension from your arches. 
Soft mist is silky against your exposed shins and soothes them. There are homes all around you. Special habitats that bring peace and refuge to all the wild beings of the forest. The woods are full of secret dwellings. You see the coal eyes of baby raccoons peering out from the hollow of a tree. They softly trill with a sound as comforting as that of a purring cat. Along the forest floor and ruddy brown tree trunks, orange-red mushrooms grow like cottages forming villages. And owl hoots from the tops of a tree awakening to the call of the night. You discover the soft mulch path that weaves between the evergreen trees, matching the premonition in the bubble. It's easy to trust your sixth sense in the heart of the forest, as you are surrounded by beings that thrive by listening to their inner wild. You connect with the wildness within you. Your companion picks up the perfect pine cone and tosses it to you. Your reflexes are sharp and you feel it softly land in the palm of your hand. You run your fingers over the ridges as if playing a piano. They are iced with pine pitch that resembles mint frosting on a cupcake. You bring the pine cone to your nose and take in a deep breath. With this awakened curiosity, you feel the desire to touch and smell and experience everything about the woodlands with full awareness. The dark path leads to a bright spot in the forest where white birch trees grow in abundance. They are pearly white in the light of moonbeams and small rainbows form when moonlight lands on the mist that hovers over their trunks. The papery snow white bark is pure and fragile you cannot resist running your fingers over one of the white birch trees. Loose flaps of the bark feel feathery in your palms. And in the mystic haze, you are quite convinced you see a unicorn in the center of the white birch forest. Your companion notices as well, and you look to one another perplexed and curious. You walk slowly towards the mythical being and get close enough to peer into her sparkling eyes that look like aquamarine gemstones. Before you can get closer, she vanishes into the mist as if she was never really there at all. You return to the path and it leads you to an iridescent stream that looks like a river of hematite in the moonlight. When you reach the stream, you and your friend dip your fingers into the water and turquoise sparkles illuminate the ripples. The stream is known by the animals of the forest for being a source of healing. You place your hands deep into the water and rest them on the smooth glistening stones the bottom of the stream bed. A wave of glittering, soft blue light travels up your arms and cascades over your body like a waterfall. You feel the deep healing it brings as a cool and soothing tingling sensation travels throughout your muscles and joints. You take in a deep breath and savor the metallic smell of the fresh water 
and the piney aroma of the forest. The fragrance purifies you within. You look at your friend and they are glowing beneath this magical light as well. Every part of your body is relaxed and feels the tiredness that sets in after a day of contentment and adventures. You splash the water on your face and feel it trickle down your cheeks, renewing you. You look downstream and see the faint twinkling lights of the treehouse. Your companion notices as well. Your eyes meet and you both begin to laugh. There's no real reason for this laugh. It's simply the wave of joy that comes with great fortune. And this night is alive with good fortune. You follow the stream, walking on the cool and smooth stones of the bank. Like the exposed roots of the trees, they massage your feet with each step. Fireflies dance over the stream and throughout the dark forest. The lights of the treehouse become brighter as you approach. The tiny fairy lights are strung from wires as wispy as angel's hair. A swinging bridge leads to the treehouse and it sways in the summer breeze. It hangs overhead your companion is the first to notice the steps that circle around an oak tree like a spiral staircase and lead to the bridge. Led by the light of the moon, you begin to ascend. You count each step as you go. One, two, three, four, Five, six. Each step brings you closer to the starry sky that shines so brightly it feels within reach. The full moon shines in the center of the sky. It was named the Buck Moon because the antlers of male deer are known to meet their full growth this time of year. You continue to ascend and duck and contort your body with ease and flexibility as you make your way around the lush branches. It gives further credence to the healing powers of the stream that you are able to be so agile. The spiraling steps lead you to the suspended bridge that hangs from old yet sturdy ropes. You feel brave. Your body feels strong and capable of any feat. You lead your companion on the journey across the bridge that spans the length of ten trees. The bridge rocks back and forth and creaks ever so slightly. You watch a chipmunk playfully dash across the rails. You feel inspired to be as carefree, safe in the forest, and exactly where you are meant to be. Your bare feet balance on the weathered planks you slowly walk to the center of the footbridge. You take in a deep breath and sigh from this perfect vantage point to take in the buck moon and sparkling stream below. And suddenly a buck appears, lapping from the stream. He raises his head meet your eyes. Purple gray clouds with soft white underbellies waft across the starry indigo sky and you continue to journey onward. 
After a few more steps, you look behind and see your companion is smiling and taking in this precious moment as well. You can now see the magnificent tree house that is built throughout four different trees and connected by bridges and decks. You climb up the footbridge to the main part of the tree house. The entryway glows by the light of rainbow Christmas lights that are strung over the entrance. Within there are soft faux fur floor pillows that are scattered on the wooden planks. Moroccan lanterns warmly cast the room in jewel tones of orange, purple, red, emerald, and sapphire. Glass hummingbirds dangle from the thatched roof of the ceiling. Inside you smell the sweet fragrance of wooden boards and old books that rest on bookshelves made of knotted and gnarly wood pieces. Two hammock swings hang over the half walls that surround the living area. Your friend goes to sit in one of them and you sit in the other. Your feet dangle high above the forest floor as you are nestled safely within the silky braided rope of the swing like a baby robin in a nest. You surrender to the gentle motions back and forth and can see over the treetops of smaller trees. You feel as if you could fly. You feel safe. To tie above the ground in this secluded respite. You feel a bit hungry and so does your friend. You step out of the swing ready to explore the treehouse further. Together you walk across a deck that leads to a kitchenette. Little nooks in the branches form cupboards and storage spaces where teacups hang. The handmade countertop is comprised of dozens of blue agate stones that form hypnotic circles in every shade of blue and blue-green that you could imagine. Baskets are placed on top and overflow with summer berries and vegetables foraged from the forest. The keepers of the treehouse have left a small crate of baked goods and ingredients for s'mores. These sage woodland inhabitants could foresee your visit long before even you imagined a stay. The kitchen opens out into another deck where an informal dining area is set up. There is a fire pit in the center of the nook surrounded by cozy cushioned seats. You look out with a new vantage point to see the rolling purple hills in the distance beyond the treetops. Your companion grabs a long match from a mason jar on the agate countertop. You grab some snacks and s'mores ingredients and follow them to the fire pit. They strike the match against the side of the metal frame and ignite the small twigs and branches within the pit. You remove a log from a tall stack of wood that lines the half wall and carry it to your companion. A night breeze rustles the leaves and carries the heat of the small marmalade flames in your direction. It's a memorable feeling this contrast of the cool night air with the heat of the fire. 
You open the marshmallows and grab a twig from the crate. You pass it to your companion and then prepare your own and place it in the growing flames. You roast the sweet confection to your preferences and look to your companion as they concentrate on roasting their own. Time seems non-existent as your memories of past moments like this waft over you in a quick sequence. These snippets of the amazing times you have shared evoke feelings of warmth and love and gratitude. You look to the starry sky thinking of the expansiveness of the universe and feel reverent. You whisper, thank you. You bring the marshmallow to your lips and blow out the flame. You inhale the fragrant caramelized sugar and wood smoke. The sugary treat melts on your tongue like a big feathery snowflake. Tiny orange sparks fly through the clearing overhead and join the neon yellow pops of fireflies and the silver glittery stars creating a dark sea of glittering confetti. Time passes, stories are shared, and the snacks slowly are depleted until you feel satiated and the muscles in your cheeks softly burn from the constant smiles and laughter. The fire dies down into white hot magenta embers. Your companion goes to the kitchenette to fill a mason jar with collected rainwater that supplies the treehouse. They pour the water on the fire and a smoke trail slithers towards the moon like a charcoal gray signal to the forest that you are ready to surrender to the night. You and your friend rise, leaving a coin toss to decide which room will be yours for the night. You embrace one another before saying goodnight and heading towards your treehouse bunker. You walk across a short footbridge that leads into a master suite. A thatched roof covers the open air room. There is a metal bathtub on the outer deck that is heated by flames that lick the bottom of the tub. You remove your clothes and wrap yourself in a plush towel that is neatly folded at the end of a canopy bed. You walk towards the secluded deck the bathtub waits. You hear the soft hush of a small waterfall that cascades into the stream below like glittering lace curtains illuminated by the buck moon. You slowly step into the lukewarm bath and your body melts. There is a bar of dark green soap smells of pine and sage. You rub the bar over your tired muscles and it creates a lush, thick lather. Suds float atop the clean bath water and you dip your head under. You look to the stars and moon as the water muffles the sounds of the forest. You take in a deep breath and your body floats to the surface of the water. The night air causes goosebumps to form over your wet exposed skin. You sigh 
and then sink deep into the tub. Your skin becomes warm and the goosebumps disappear. You have made it to paradise. And the world has many more paradises for you to someday explore. This idea fills you with hope and with longing and with the appreciation that there is so much more to look forward to. Your eyes close and you continue to float in the silky water that smells of the forest. You feel yourself drifting towards sleep and ready for a night of rest. You rise out of the water and wrap yourself in the warm, plush towel. You step out onto the cool planks of the deck and walk towards the bed. You change into cotton bedclothes that are folded at the end of the bed. They are cool against your skin and embroidered with this message. Going to the woods is going home. John Muir. You feel at home. The tree house within the tree within the forest is like a home within a home within a home. You hoist yourself onto the bed and pull a mosquito net around you. You feel so safe within this gauzy pod. You tuck yourself beneath the cool cotton sheets and a heavy handmade quilt. The beauty of this tree house and this experience is that it brings a harmonious union of mother nature and the artistic abilities of creative people in the woodlands. This night has given you an example of the synergy and peace again and again. Your head sinks deeply into the pillow that has been filled with cotton and cedar shavings. It forms around the contour of your head and neck with a sleep inducing woodsy aroma. You take in a deep breath and sigh, full of gratitude, peace, and the warm tingling feeling of being deeply inspired. You close your eyes and once again this whisper spills out of your lips as you mutter the words, thank you. Going down, down, down. Drifting towards sleep and magical dreams. Or gliding into the next story. The Fantastical Night. You were born into this life as a magical being. With your body performing functions beyond human understanding for most of history. May you always remember that magic exists inside of you, which means magic also exists inside everything else. Sink into your bed and let your eyelids fall upon your tired eyes shutting like the colorful wooden shutters of a medieval cottage. You are shutting out the noise and world around you. Deep in the sanctuary of your mind, you are now removed from judgment and limitations. Anything is possible in this new landscape. And you let your mind float along like a graceful paintbrush dripping with vibrant watercolor paint on the blank canvas of your mind. Take in a deep breath 
and let your breath be the vehicle that transports you to a new world. Your belly rises and your breath turns into a yawn before you exhale. Purse your lips together as if blowing through a straw. Let go of any thoughts no longer serving you as these unwanted thoughts ride your breath. Inhale again and when you exhale, envision that you are blowing away the white fluffy seeds of a dandelion clock. You visualize the hundreds of feathery florets taking flight in the spring air across a lush green mountain valley surrounded by snow-capped mountains. They are lively and you hear a whisper that says, come join us. You accept this warm invitation and find yourself floating over spring meadows and wildflowers. You drift over the rolling hills towards a rainbow that appears over the valley. You float upon the colorful rainbow beams and suddenly you are traveling through time. You soar through historic moments that have meaning to you and they appear like holograms in the vibrant multi-hued light. Dashing through time, your body tingles from head to toe. You are free of any tension. You feel fluid and light. You feel joyous and your face erupts in a warm smile. Your wind-swept hair travels behind you like blades of silky grass billowing in the mountain air. Soon the weightless sensation of flight is replaced with a tug of gravity that wraps around you like a weighted blanket. It guides you towards a new earth that is familiar and yet in many ways unexpected. You suddenly find yourself in a dark and quiet forest beneath a starry night sky. The earth is so dark below that the silver stars appear to shine brighter against the navy blue velvety canvas of night. The earth is so dark below that the silver stars appear to shine brighter against the navy blue velvety canvas of night than you have witnessed in your waking life. The shadowy trees are blue-black silhouettes in the opalescent light of the full moon. You travel with two companions, a beautiful creature the size of a stuffed animal with the loyalty and happiness of a small dog. She has long silky golden fur that shimmers and cascades down her fuzzy legs. She is otherworldly and curious and leads your trio by sniffing at the earth ahead of you. She bears the namesake of someone who has inspired you most in your waking life. Your other companion is a snow white horse, properly fitted with a saddle. You hold her glittering reins in your hand and you feel the textured fabric in your firm grip. And she is named after someone who has helped you become a better person in your waking life someone who has encouraged you to go beyond any limitations or self-doubt you have had. You are dressed in the clothes of another time, wrapped 
wrapped in a velvet cape with a silk lining that is in your favorite color. This color empowers and enlivens you. With each graceful step, the cape rides on the breeze and the lining ripples like a fresh water stream cast in the light of the moon. Your boots step on the damp and cloud-like mossy earth. In the coolness of the night, the air is its freshest and cleanest. Each inhalation is like a sip of crisp spring water, purifying you deeply within. A soft lavender gray mist hovers above the earth and wraps around the gnarly tree trunks in generous hugs. You feel it rise to your face and the cool droplets land on your skin and add to this dreamy sensation you feel as you walk through the woods. The branches blow in the breeze and the leaves rustle they cast grand purpley shadows on the emerald green forest floor. Fireflies dance through the shadows and your path is aglow with their electric yellow orbs. Deeper in the forest, you see glowing lights in an array of pastel hues that you realize cannot be fireflies. They are larger and more varied, and they travel at a speedier pace. Some create streaks of light across the dark backdrop, like dancing glow sticks spun by children during summer's peak. Your smaller companion runs ahead, emitting a sound that is like an excited bark and a melodic song in one. You lead your horse towards the pastel rainbow glowing objects and then realize that you are surrounded by fairies. At first, your presence is unnoticed, but then they begin to fly closer. They whisper among one another before circling you. Their wings have the colorful, intricate designs found on butterfly wings. And when you get closer, you become mesmerized by the artistic patterns. You admire their delicate hands that move upon the air with the same speed of their wings in this sacred forest and in this time in history. The world is a much quieter place. And in the deep silence, you can hear the softest patter of their wings on the invigorating night air, the aroma of the rich earth and sweetness of decaying leaves is overwhelmed by the fragrant aroma of honeysuckle and sweet nectar that comes from the flutter of fairies. You are soothed by their perfume and captivated by their delicate features. And while they whisper and converse with one another in a melodic language that you do not understand, you intuitively know that they are speaking in your best interest. A fairy that glows in chartreuse light, much like the depictions of Tinkerbell, flutters before you at the level of your heart. You feel a warm glow in your heart center, and a wave of light flows through your veins and arteries, warming you and tingling at the same time. You feel your body in complete alignment from head to toe, 
you can trace your own life force flowing through you. When the fairy speaks to you, how can we help you? She inquires in the deep stillness of the forest. Having traveled quite some way already, you begin to think about what you most desire, happiness, inner peace, sleep, sweet dreams. Perhaps you wish to feel magic in every day and the curiosity you once experienced when the world was a new place. Perhaps you need help in envisioning a life that better suits you. Perhaps you need help answering questions that pop up in your mind. You take a moment knowing that deep questions require proper time to answer and you tell the empathetic fairy what you need help with. It may very well be more than one thing. You may have an abundant list, but that's okay. This is your time to ask for what you need. And with whatever you describe, she listens along with her sisterly tribe, sending you love and compassion. And when you are done confiding in her, with a sleight of hand and a snap of her fingers, she expresses that help is on the way. She whispers, stay true to yourself and listen to what feels right along the way. Guidance will come when you ask and behind the scenes, someone is always helping. The fairies surround you and your horse and tiny companion in a glowing circle that rises and falls like a strand of holiday lights billowing on the breeze. You are showered with kisses of fairies before they gradually fly away, spreading out through the forest like a galaxy of colorful stars. The chartreuse fairy flutters near your ear one last time and whispers, Remember, even if you feel alone on your quest, help is there if you simply ask. She then takes flight and streaks through the dark trees until you can no longer see her. In the distance, you hear a babbling brook and an internal voice urges you to follow this calming sound. Your tiny companion leads the way and her lustrous coat of fur reflects the moonlight to help guide you through the darkness. Your horse patiently follows when you guide her rein and step carefully through a bramble of rose bushes that are in full bloom. You notice dewy droplets on the silken crimson petals and they appear like translucent drops of molten silver. You pause and look closer. Within the reflective droplets, you see different versions of yourself throughout your life. You see the side of you that has humor and laughs and finds joy. You see the side of yourself that is forever growing and changing through time. You see yourself giving love. You see yourself exploring something that you have wanted to explore for some time. Perhaps that something 
is this enchanted forest. Your tiny companion looks back with imploring eyes. They reveal trust and an instinct to always make sure that you are nearby. As the sound of the babbling stream crescendos, it is joined by the song of tree frogs and the chirps of crickets. You walk past a den where a fawn sleeps with her mother. They are both curled up like cats on a sofa. The ivory dots that freckle the fawn's shiny auburn fur reflect the magical moonlight that casts the enchanted forest in silver luminescence. Will-o'-the-wisps dance around the gurgling, glittering, turquoise, bioluminescent stream. They appear as sapphire spheres, with willowy wings that dance in the darkness with the grace of ballerinas. Larger than the fairies, their arms and legs move as if treading water and clouds of glitter are left in their wake. The -the will-o'-the-wisps represent your past lives and guide you in the right direction. They remind you of the healing that has already taken place and you are instilled with a deep sense that you do not need to relive the moments of your past you wish to surrender. You walk towards the glistening ebony rocks of the bank of the stream and dip your fingers into the cold, twinkling water. Your tiny companion balances on the slippery rocks and then accidentally falls into the stream. You laugh spontaneously before you help her to the bank. The water cleanses you of the day, and as you splash it on your face, it washes away things that you no longer wish to carry. You feel the water trickle down your cheeks and land on your lips. You taste the pure, clean droplets that carry the freshness of recently melted ice flowing out of a glacier. You absorb the wisdom of your past, and one by one the -the will-of-the-wisps begin to float away to the expanse of night sky. They have illuminated all that you have survived and reminded you of your inner fortitude. You no longer need to rummage in the past even when future events trigger their memories. You may simply re-envision the glowing sapphire will-of-the-wisps floating into the vast universe like floating paper lanterns set free into the night. Your tiny furry companion continues southerly downstream shaking off water droplets from her coat every few steps before she is completely dry. Your horse still loyally follows behind until you come to a clearing in the magical forest. The brook empties into a mystical lake and the shoreline is peppered with half-timbered medieval cottages. The candy-colored homes feature dark brown wood beams that crisscross like the laces of your well-worn leather boots. Seeing their presence makes you long for home. You feel nostalgia for the many places, for the many places you have called home. And then you remember that home is wherever you go. 
You lead your horse towards the lake, and she takes a sip from the crystalline blue water. The full moon reflects off the lake, magnanimous and bright. The glowing orb occupies the center of the water. You hear the thud of hooves behind you, and you turn to see a herd of unicorns has gathered around the shore. Your horse first turns her attention to them, and you follow her gaze. The unicorn's horns point towards the stars, and they look like twisted rainbow licorice. Each unicorn has a colorful mane that flows like corn silk in hues of orchid purple and teal and silver and rose gold. Your tiny companion runs to them and laps around their strong muscular legs and silver hooves but your attention remains on your horse. In a silent exchange between the unicorns and your faithful horse, you realize a message is being communicated. You look past the thick black lashes of your horse and into her coal black eyes. You place your hands above her wet black nose and stroke her velvety muzzle. Her eyes become black mirrors that reflect the glowing rainbow horns of the unicorns. She neighs and points her muzzle towards you, resting it on your shoulder before she nudges you. Your tiny companion is at your feet and jumps onto your shins. You realize that the horse wants you to climb atop her back for a ride. Her insistence is both inspired and urgent. And you bow down so your tiny companion can jump into the crook of your arm. The horse kneels onto the pebbled beach, and you slip your leg over her and settle into the saddle. She looks to the unicorns one last time before she neighs and begins to trot around the perimeter of the lake. The night air graces your face and wind-swept hair cool, crisp, a reminder that you are vibrant and alive. The horse continues to accelerate, running so quickly along the shore that you feel she could take flight. And then she bravely runs towards the water, and with total faith you trust her. Her hooves grace the shallow water, and then suddenly her harness and saddle dissolve into stardust, floating down towards the lake like burning embers and sparks of a campfire being put out. You can hear them sizzle and hiss when they land in the cool lake, and as your horse glides across the water, she begins to ascend towards the firmament as she expands her once hidden wings. For your horse is not a horse at all. She is a majestic pegasus, and her wide, strong, feathery wings take flight. She soars with complete confidence. For all along, your pegasus had concealed her magical beauty to fit into expectations. It took a journey through an enchanted forest for her to realize that her uniqueness was her most special gift. 
as you soar high above the medieval villages and castles below. You feel the parts of you that are unique and magical awaken. You envision a dreamscape on this fortuitous night where you may ride the waves of dreams of possibilities that arrive when you embrace these parts of yourself. You free yourself of the cape and watch it float towards the beautiful valley like a parachute. And as you let go, this article will find someone who needs it most as it no longer serves you. You are free to soar uncovered as the night kisses your skin and you rise higher and higher up. From land, the night sky appeared to be a solid indigo black, but as you get closer, you find you are gliding through streams of magenta and amethyst and turquoise and cobalt blue. You realize that nothing is quite as it seems. Perspective colors everything. You shoot your heart towards the moon and the Pegasus leads you in ascension higher and higher up. The silver, gray, and charcoal lunar craters of the moon reveal the face of a woman. She smiles kindly down on you and you start to feel tired. The moonbeams become a projector on the night sky. And in this projection, you see yourself tucked into bed, content in a deep sleep. The blankets to cover you rise and fall like the waves on a lake, undulating from the breath that comes from your sleeping body. The image fades away, and you are suddenly dressed in your pajamas, perched on the pegasus with your tiny companion. Sleepiness creeps in, and your body feels the splendor and soft burn that comes after an adventurous, well-lived day. Your tiny companion snuggles against your belly and yawns. The woman in the moon blows a cloud of sleeping dust at you, and it falls on you like delicate snowflakes glittering and pure. You are ready to surrender to sleep and the Pegasus guides you through the night back to the nearby lakeside village. Your arms hug around her neck and your tiny companion is tucked within the curve of your ribs as you lean forward. You fly above the thatched roof of a stone cottage and the roof magically opens up. You slip off the pegasus and drift down, down, down towards a bed. You softly land on a handmade quilt and mountain of downy pillows. Your pegasus takes off proudly towards the sky, eager to explore the night. You see the woman in the moon and she winks at you and whispers, Good night. The thatched roof reseals itself, and you are now in the safe darkness of the medieval stone cottage. You peel back the covers and relish the weight of the quilt that makes you feel as secure as a swaddled baby. Your tiny companion cuddles next to you and falls quickly to sleep. And you close your eyes and find yourself drifting across the magical bridge to your sleeping life. You surrender to the beautiful dreams to come, bringing reminders of the uniqueness and magic that has been with you throughout this life. Once a spark, 
and now has the strength to burn as brightly as the enchanted moon. And with a soothing thought, you may fall asleep or continue to a new sleepy tale. The Rainforest I would like you to visualize that you are walking beneath the thick, deep, green canopy of a rainforest. A streak of fiery orange sunlight cuts through the lush foliage and a heavy gray mist surrounds you on this early evening walk. Your feet step along a path carpeted by nature. The earth feeling plush below you and allows you a gentle bounce with each step. You feel free and in harmony with the beauty around you. Inhaling the sweet intoxicating fragrance of tropical flowers. You notice the humid air is getting cooler as the sun is getting ready to set. And as you are winding down from a long day, feeling the fulfillness that comes from a productive day, the rainforest is beginning to come to life with nocturnal inhabitants rousing, the cokey frogs sing out proudly in surround sound, their melodic chirps and cries traveling through the damp air. And as you continue to walk along the forest floor, you notice a parrot in flight. The blue tips of this graceful green bird revealed as he soars ahead and emits a bugle-like call. These tranquil sounds coming together in harmony. At first starting isolated, but then blending together as if a symphony that has just warmed up and been taken by the graceful lead of a conductor. And the path is becoming darker as you come to a stream, following the gentle flow of water towards its source. Feeling connected with all that is around you as you inhale and exhale in this tranquil solitude, enjoying the sense of being part of something while also feeling a sense of independence and confidence. Up ahead, you come to the source of the stream, a softly flowing waterfall. And this water is special in that it glitters in bioluminescence, sparkling the more that the forest darkens. And you touch this tepid, magical water, feeling a spontaneous desire to immerse yourself in the fresh, 
clean waves. You remove your shoes and outer layers, allowing your bare feet to grasp the cool, slick stones that lead you deeper down into the water. And once the water is above your knees, immersing you in a cleansing coolness, you begin to swim, expanding your arms ahead of you, swimming with ease towards the small white crests and bubbles formed from the crashing waterfall overhead. Cool waters collap over your face and hair as you tilt your head back in pure bliss as the waterfall massages your neck and shoulders. You taste the minerality in the clean water droplets on your lips, feeling calm at ease as you float on your back and gently tread your feet through the crystal sparkling pool. Taking your time as the kind waves weave through the strands of your floating hair. Looking up at the majestic canopy of dark emerald green above and sense a deep relaxation, a desire to rest. So you bring yourself out of the waters, warmed by the humid air as you put on your dry clothes and shoes and continue towards your home for the night. You come upon a rock staircase that runs along the waterfall and begin to climb one step at a time. Feeling so grateful for the strength your body has as it carries you further and further up. And this last step brings you to a foothill where an old bridge awaits you. This bridge crosses over the rushing stream above the waterfall and you approach it as you feel the sturdy wooden planks of this footbridge and the sense of tiredness is getting stronger as you take one step at a time plank by plank, inhaling the clean night air, now fragrant with an evening mist that indicates the passing storm may be on its way. A gentle breeze rustles by, giving reprieve from the tropical air. And you know by crossing this bridge, you are leaving behind the adventures of an active day and crossing towards the deserved respite that awaits ahead. Feeling safe, feeling accomplished, 
on the other side of the bridge. You intuitively follow a path and see your own tree hut that awaits you ahead. The structure is a modern, sturdy wooden home married to the tropical trees that surround it. A tree hut just nestled in, safely contained. And you continue on, feeling so tired and ready for bed, one step at a time, climbing further up each step until you reach the front door which has a hand-carved wooden branch as the knob and you feel the cool smoothness in your hand as you open it and step into the open-air hut with A-frame ceilings made of smooth red wood and glass skylights that allow you to see through a clearing in the canopy of trees up towards the sky and darkened clouds coming in. And from the side windows you may peer out into the surrounding forest as if a voyeur in this magical landscape in the center of the room is a large canopy bed with white gossamer draped around it and waiting for you on this bed is a folded set of clean bedclothes in your favorite fabric and color. You change into them, your skin still feeling fresh and clean from frolicking in the waterfall. You notice how perfectly the cloth falls around your body, smelling of a natural fragrance you most enjoy, perhaps lavender or a tropical fragrance of coconut and sandalwood. And as darkness sets outside, The room is suddenly aglow from colorful glass lanterns that light up like clockwork, casting shadows and warm tones of oranges and reds and purples all around the space. And on the glass skylights above, you notice yellow flashes of light coming from the native kukuyo bugs that illuminate the darkness with their inherent glow. The wind picks up speed, rustling around. As you get into your bed, going under the cool cotton sheets, a ceiling fan blows a cooling air across the room, and it's almost as if it is whispering you towards a night of sleep. 
the first few drops of rain fall upon the glass windows overhead and you watch as the large drops pelt upon them as you inhale and exhale grateful for the perfect time you had in arriving home before the storm taking in this beauty as the rain increases in speed and output your eyes becoming heavy as the rhythmic sound is lulling you to sleep. The cokey frogs continuing their sirens that are now muffled by the sounds of falling rain and thunder rolling in the distance. And you are safe and serene, feeling heavier and heavier as you sink into this bed, high atop the foothills of a rainforest, knowing you will awaken to a fresh start among the morning dew and lush green foliage that awaits outside your door. Feeling the urge to drift asleep, becoming more and more difficult to resist. Finding that you are so very blessed to have refuge from the storm and the special place reserved just for you as you inhale and exhale right now, knowing that dreams await you and will play out in technicolor with happy opportunities to further open your creative mind. The sleep will come to you like a welcome reprieve and vacation that is waiting for you at the end of each day. The wind continuing as the rain falls upon the rainforest in your sacred tree home, going deeper and deeper, further down knowing you may let go of my voice at any point. As in this state, you flow back and forth and back and forth towards sleep. This gentle flow reminding you of the sensation of floating beneath the waterfall, surrendering and letting go. And in your mind's eye, as you drift towards sleep, you see the illuminated Kukuyo box dashing across the branches as their lights spell out messages to you 
on the backs of your eyelids, easing you into relaxation. The word peace appears and you cannot help but feel the arrival of peace in your heart center, flowing and rippling from your heart center to your fingertips and toes, to the crown of your head in a softly tingling sensation as you inhale and exhale. You suddenly see the dancing kukuyos spell the word love and you feel the rippling wave of love coming over you like a gentle breeze. And lastly, they spell out, let go. And it comes to you without effort as you let go. How easy it is to just let go. Feeling how the winds bring a gentle sway to your home, this rocking back and forth, so easy, so calming as the rhythmic and continuous patter of rain brings you to sleep, arriving to sleep as if on your own white chariot as you inhale and exhale, going deeper and deeper down, sinking into the heaviness you feel, just letting your tired muscles cascade over your bones and joints like melted wax, drifting, letting go, surrendering. Inside you feel a warm orb radiating from your solar plexus warming your torso and all your inner organs as you inhale and exhale, serene and grateful, plugged into the moment, satisfied peace and you may rest, breathing in and breathing out, you are free to drift, drift further and further away to a dreamy world, beautiful and serene, and you are floating deeper and deeper down, drifting away, closer to sleep, finding surrender, knowing you may luxuriate in this time for renewal and respite. 
and so too you may feel the earned freedom of letting go, of finding sleep, snuggled in, all your muscles having been used and feeling the fatigue as it settles in, letting go. And you will fall into a sleep with dreams of renewal as fresh and green and lush as the rainforest around you. And it makes all of right now easy to let go because you may relax as you drift asleep and do all that you need to do to heal and recover from the day right now drifting down 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 Letting your consciousness drift away with the tropical rainstorm. Remembering how connected you are to this life and to all the beauty that surrounds you. And you may enjoy the beauty of sleep. Or you may listen to one last sleep story set in a forest. The Bamboo Forest You visualize that your feet are stepping upon a layer of brown bamboo husks that cover the earth. Adorned in boots you feel the tight laces tied around your feet and ankles and enjoying this perfect shoe for balance. And your shoulders are comfortably weighed down with the straps of your rucksack that is stocked with necessary items for this overnight trek. You feel strong and alive the air smells of morning, that unique aroma of wet earth and dewy plant life as the sun warms the tiny water droplets and they evaporate into the air. You are nestled within reeds of bamboo that are like towers reaching more than double your height towards the clear cerulean blue sky overhead. The terrain consists of rolling hills surrounded by mountains that disappear from your view as you walk deeper into the forest. The sun streaks down through the towering green bamboo that sways in the gentle summer's breeze. The rays of light create a soft glow in thin streams interrupted by the abundant bamboo. The soundscape soothes you deeply as the sway of these slender reeds and canopy of feathery green leaves rustle in a soft sound you have not heard before. It is unique to this forest and causes a tingle down your spine as it reminds you of the softest of sensations upon your skin and body. As sunlight illuminates the tops of the swaying bamboo, it creates a bright green cast upon the forest floor. 
And as you walk, you feel as if you are walking through a sea of green, which may be why this forest has been referred to as the Sea of Green. The color green, known for vibrance and vitality, is also representative of the heart chakra, the balance point of all chakras. It is attributed to unconditional love and symbolizes health, abundance, and prosperity. And in the bamboo forest, the verdant landscape is rife with prosperity and it makes it easy to feel warmth within your heart center as you explore. An open heart will attract deep relationships and allow you to thrive. And right now, you look up to the tops of the swaying bamboo and feel a similar gentleness within your heart center. You breathe in the fresh air and feel light as you walk through the balmy breeze of the bamboo forest. Bamboos are some of the fastest growing plants in the world. With hollow interiors, they are the largest members of the grass family. In some species, their growth spurts are so significant that in but a day's time, they may grow as much as a meter. But right now, the popular Moso bamboo surrounds you. Known for its bright shades of green, and characterized by calms, these jointed stems that you reach out and feel. The smooth exterior is cool to the touch as you run your fingers over the edges created by the segments. They contrast the smoothness of the contained nodes and you imagine each segment has its own story. Not only has bamboo never been told not to grow, its accelerated growth has bypassed that of most plant life. And for a moment you think of your own personal growth and times that life accelerated this growth. By going with the flow, or by being presented with strife or unexpected circumstances that demanded more from you than you thought you had. But strife has unintended consequences. And when you focus, when you heal, and when you take care of what is within your control, you may find yourself growing beyond your wildest expectations as well. Growth may be exponential, and as bamboo cares not if it is told not to grow, you too may disengage from any voices that doubt your own growth, even if that voice belongs to you. You weave between the tall stalks of bamboo, and your hands grasp them in the same way that you would hold onto monkey bars as a kid, using them to balance yourself on the uneven terrain. And up ahead, you see a golden monkey in her natural habitat as her black furry hand grasps a thick stalk of bamboo as she uses it to leap ahead. The fur on her black cheeks puff out, speckled in shades of gold as if dusted with metallic glitter. 
Her curious eyes are of a deep topaz, and her black, luxurious limbs contrast the copper fur of her body. She chews on bamboo as she becomes less interested in your presence. You feel like a voyeur on a different planet. Welcome in this forest, so long as you are respectful. And you feel a deep reverence for the beauty that is around you. Confucius once expressed, everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it and you make it a point on this adventure to see all the beauty. Noting as a trail of ants marches along the path, you admire their orderly assembly and purpose. Remembering the captivating power ants had when you were but a child, watching them carry items that exceeded their weight and size. Because even ants have purpose. Size does not negate purpose. And even you in this life have a purpose. And should you not yet know what it is, your purpose is to explore until you find it. And even now, you are getting in tune with the deeper parts of yourself and your bigger purpose. You go deeper and deeper within the forest, allowing your intuition to guide you. In the distance, you see white lace-like veils that spot the earth around the bamboo trunks. Like ivory nets pouring down a white stem from a brown cloud of a mushroom on top. These mushrooms are known as bamboo mushrooms. They are but a delicacy and sight to be seen. You approach them and squat down towards the earth, letting your fingers grace the delicate ivory webbing. And your attention drifts to thoughts about all the wonders of the world. There are so many things you have yet to see and experience for the first time. And this walk through the bamboo forest is a reminder of that. Whenever you feel stuck or uninspired, you may think of the treasures of Mother Earth that are yet to be explored. Walking onward, you see a nook within the forest where the bamboo forms a cove. And within the shadows, you see a giant panda eating bamboo. The sun has lowered in the sky and the surrounding forest is now cast in a saturated golden glow as if the green stalks are dipped in honey. You walk closer, remaining quiet and unnoticed as you admire the downy white and black fur of the panda bear. It continues to feast on bamboo, noshing quickly while the rest of its body conveys a lazy, carefree disposition. Its eyes like black coal, with thick rings of black fur surrounding them. 
The contrast of the white and black is all the more obvious in the sea of green. There are times within the bamboo forest that you almost feel like you are within the depths of the ocean, floating along tendrils of seagrass. You smile, a warm feeling of love and appreciation flooding your face. As you watch this endangered species, one last time before proceeding towards your shelter for the night. The sun is beginning to set as the forest becomes darker and hues of magenta and tangerine light up the sky. Up ahead you see a clearing where your camp awaits there is a solid structure made of bamboo that is alongside a stream that bubbles and flows like a silvery black ribbon. The bamboo hut is elevated on stilts made of bamboo in shades of tawny brown. It's an eco-friendly respite, artfully crafted, and it conjures feelings of safety and warmth. There is a water system comprised of bamboo piping that utilizes the local stream so the water may run towards the shelter. You walk to the bamboo water fountain that constantly recycles fresh water from the stream in a circuitous design. There is a bowl made of bamboo wood to be used as a sink with a ladle within. You fill it with stream water and wash your hands and face. And then you dip down your head beneath the spigot to quench your thirst from the hike as you drink. The cold metallic water hits your lips as you continue to sip directly from the bamboo spout. And as the water splashes over your face and neck, it washes away traces of the day leaving you feeling clean and refreshed, feeling natural and relaxed. Before the hut is a fire pit and a bench made of bamboo as well. You place your bag on the bench and stretch your arms overhead, feeling lighter and free without its weight on your back. You bend down and collect bamboo husks to put within the fire pit, eager to create some light before the last bit of the day's illumination slips away. You collect broken shafts of dried out bamboo from the forest's floor and bring your findings to the pit. Grabbing a lighter from your pocket, you start a fire and watch as the small husks fiercely ignite the larger pieces. The warmth feels good as the forest has dropped in temperature in the mountain night's air. Fireflies begin to appear and are so abundant, they look like a glowing yellow snow squall under the canopy of bamboo. The sky above is now dark, and looking overhead, 
You can see its blackness now ablaze with stars and a full moon. White moonlight now floats through the stalks of bamboo, illuminating them like towering dark green skyscrapers that protect the clearing. You take a seat on the bench, removing a favorite snack from your bag and you begin to enjoy the snack, finding yourself nourished with this feeling of physical and also spiritual fullness. You watch the fire, mesmerized by the orange-yellow glow of the flames that seem to flicker as if they are delicately licking the night's air. A skinny trail of coal black smoke slithers through the bamboo towards the night's sky. The smell of burning bamboo is unlike the smell of logs you have burned before. It is more fragrant and aromatic. And with the hollow centers, it burns hot and fast crackling and popping more than a log would. You enjoy watching the orange sparks that take off on the breeze towards the sky before they burn out. And the orange sparks add illumination to the bright yellow glow of the lightning bugs around you. You feel your own inner spark that was fed by the adventures of the day, allowing you to feel enlivened by new discoveries, to reconnect with the deepest parts of you. Because you are life. The bamboo forest is life. The pandas the stream, the energy around you, and the stillness and solitude that is found within the comforts of these hills where the bamboo grows. Bamboo is considered a sign of humility as the taller it grows the more it bows down towards the earth. Reaching for the light and yet graciously bending with reverence towards the earth. And you too may be like bamboo. You may grow without admonishment. You may bow down with humility. You may reach for the sun while you bow to the earth. The fire dies down as embers remain and you feel tiredness creeping in. You put out the rest of the fire with water from the spout that you carry with the bamboo ladle listening to it sizzle, you rely on the light of the full moon to guide you to the bamboo hut where you may sleep for the night. You enter the hut, smelling the sweet dry bamboo, and feel safe as soon as you enter. You remove your boots, untying the laces, feeling release as you remove them and your socks and stand in your bare feet. You change out of your clothing and into flannel pajamas you've removed from your bag. 
grateful for the comforts they will provide as the cool mountain air claims the night. You unroll a sleeping bag and place it upon the bamboo floor. You climb into the bag and feel your body supported by the firmness of the floor. Your spine is perfectly aligned as you feel heavy and tired, letting yourself go, releasing all physical holding of tension from the day. You are safe. You are blessed to be in this mystical forest. As a mist rolls in, and wraps around the shelter in a soft embrace. You inhale the night's air and then sigh it all out. Feeling a lightness in your lungs, reminiscent of a day spent swimming at sea, where you relish each new breath of air tiredness sets in and you surrender to sleep or you tune in for one last story the forest of twisted trees the world can be a funny place to be born into human life begins with a physical body that does its own thing from the very first cells it would seem that everything develops exactly as it should. Being alive is a miracle. Yet very soon into life, the expectations of the times and society begin to shift ideas of what is normal and what is not. Jacob Green was never afforded the luxury of feeling normal. He was born with a body that was near double that of his peers. His height and stature over others gave him a vantage point and perspective that no one quite understood. Rather than feel bad or try to conform, with the loving guidance of his artistic mother, Jacob decided to celebrate his uniqueness and embrace the spirit of being a misfit. He had no other voice to listen to but the whispers of his own. Those whispers led him to escape the scrutiny of the villagers, to forge his own path and live each day on his own terms. He wondered why no one else had thought of living their life with such freedom and joy. Jacob lived in the forest of twisted trees. This mystical landscape offered him healing and wisdom. No one questioned the tawny gray trunks that sprouted out of the damp soil like licorice twists. No one dared to ask why the invisible winds were fickle and sometimes fierce. No one demanded that the winds make themselves visible. No one mocked the sun for rising and setting each day. No one told the leaves to stop changing colors and falling. No one chastised the trees for becoming barren at the end of each fall. The forest of twisted trees was the perfect place for someone to go when they felt misunderstood. Or in Jacob's case, it was a refuge from a society that had preconceived ideas of how one should develop and grow. That was never entirely in his control after all, so why should he care? Nature offered a place free of judgment, a place for all living things to just be. And in the forest, Jacob thrived. 
he stood confidently among the twisted trees that reached for golden sunlight by day and the stars by night. He explored the unexpected with curiosity and enthusiasm. And with artistic gifts inherited from his mother, he designed an oasis of unique tree houses and sleeping spheres high atop the twisted trees. Soon after Jacob had made the forest his home, he began to have dreams of other souls throughout time and space who spent their nights longing to be free of judgment as well. And in one particular dream, Jacob became aware of you. He awoke the following morning and drafted a handwritten letter with specific instructions. Despite his large hands and thick fingers, his mother had gifted him the most delicate penmanship. He had a terse yet eloquent way with words. When you received the letter, you were quite surprised and perhaps even skeptical. The parchment smelled of the woodlands, and you inhaled the fibrous page. You ran your fingers across your name and memorized his words. He wrote, Whenever you feel the world is too much, whenever you feel you are alone, Whenever thoughts keep you up into the night, just imagine a forest of twisted trees and I will meet you there to remind you that you belong. On this night, you remove the letter from beneath your pillow and imagine how wonderful it would be to feel free and inspired. Your head sinks into your pillow and you think about the twisted trees Beneath the darkness of your closed eyelids, you can see the textured trunks and feel their grainy surface beneath your palms. You imagine the clean, crisp air of autumn as you inhale, and suddenly you hear the whispering voice of Jacob. Would you like to come away? You hear your own voice answer without a moment's hesitation. Yes, please, yes. You drift and float through a dark indigo sky, cloaked in glittering gold light. The light is warm and pulses softly against your tired body. The farther that you float away from your bed, the lighter and safer you feel. You trust your decision, and you trust every moment about to unfold. A deep knowing in the core of your body gives you peace. With the fluidity of a dream within a dream, of a memory within a memory, you continue to travel through time and space until you float towards the earth. You land on a grassy knoll beneath a full moon. Dewdrops speckle emerald blades of grass like diamonds in the opal moonlight. The hill ends at the perimeter of the forest of twisted trees. A silvery lavender mist hovers over the forest floor, spilling out over the edge of the grass like the bottom of a lace curtain wafting on a breeze from open windows. Jacob stands in the moonlight, close to the edge of the woodlands. It feels so natural to meet, as if being picked up from the airport by a loved one after a long journey. His big eyes are like cerulean pools of water, full of hope and kindness. He wears a wool cloak jacket in a deep shade of purple that has a timeless feel. 
You walk across the grass and the autumn air caresses your skin like incoming waves of cool water. You feel soothed, cleansed, and free. The joy of being someplace new and yet familiar causes your heart center to radiate warmth. As you inhale and then exhale the evergreen scented air, your breath condenses in small white puffs. Jacob moves with grace and his beautiful hands reach out to you with a gift neatly and tightly folded like a blanket. You thank him, so touched, and like a stray cloud in a perfect sky, a thought comes to you, do I deserve this? And telepathically, Jacob's kind and whispering words stop your thought. Never question the gifts you deserve. You smile and so does he. As you unfold the article and find it is the coat of your dreams, it is from whatever style, fabric, and design that makes you happiest. You put it on and feel instantly warmed from the damp night air. The coat is a perfect fit. It makes you feel loved and cherished and cared for. You feel humbled with a confirmation that the world can be kind. Jacob's voice is low and trustworthy as he says, the forest will answer any questions you may have if you seek guidance. But do not question the joy or love or good things you encounter tonight. Just know that you are worthy of every one of them. Promise me that. You nod your head and promise. This new friend has been so kind. You find this to be a simple request. You smile and think to yourself, I deserve this. Jacob steps into the woods and his cloak dances on the evening breeze. The edge of the forest has an array of evergreen trees that perfume the air. They are soon replaced with the legendary twisted trees. You cannot resist placing your palms on the spiraling edges. All the trees are uniquely formed. Their tangled roots spill out over the earth's floor, gripping to something permanent. Nourished by the earth and sun, the gnarled branches curve towards the sky. A tree does all it must to survive the storms of life. It lets go of its leaves when the temperature changes to not be weighed down by snow or damaged by winter winds. You imagine what it must feel like to be so in tune with your own needs for survival and resilience. Is there anything more you may do in your life to meet these needs for yourself? You wonder more as you go. You follow the deep impressions made in the earth by Jacob's large ebony boots. Fallen leaves and tiny twigs crunch beneath your feet as you admire the twisted trees. Not one is the same. The trees do not compare themselves to each other. What a silly idea for a tree to do. And it makes you question why ever would a human being compare themselves to one another as well. You absorb the energy and freedom of these trees grow as they desire, to adapt to situations beyond their control, and to thrive in any way to adapt to the seasons of life. A pair of black squirrels run across the path and stop when they see Jacob. 
you sense the mutual respect they share for each other, coexisting in this mystical forest. Jacob brings you to a narrow river that weaves between the twisted trees like a sparkling midnight blue ribbon. The most beautiful wooden boat you have ever seen gleams in the moonlight. Jacob assists you into the boat and then sits behind you. He seamlessly guides the boat southerly towards the heart of the forest. You run your hands across the polished amber-hued wood. It feels cool, solid, and smooth. Jacob reveals he has made this boat after having many inspiring dreams of leading visitors on healing journeys through the woods. You sink back into a plush satiny pillow as Jacob paddles downstream. A mist hovers over the water, slithering like a silver tulle veil on the breeze. You look through the twisty barren branches of the trees to take in the velvety sky. The stars twinkle between the tiny branches and the full moon takes center stage. Everything in this moment sparkles in the pearly moonlight. The rocks that line the riverbed, the ripples on the water, the night sky, the shiny carpet of damp jewel-toned leaves that scatter across the earth. The beauty creates a memory you will hold on to when you need to feel good. Floating downstream, your body surrenders to the ebb and flow of the boat as you inhale the sweet autumn air. Jacob guides the boat towards the rocky riverbank and docks. He rises first and exits the boat, backlit by the lustrous moon. He extends his big palm and you hold on as he helps you out of the boat and onto land. You realize the glistering light behind him is not only from the moon. As he moves forward, you see a twisted tree that was blocked from view. This tree is completely unlike all the others. A different type of crystal dangles from each branch, covering all spectrums of the rainbow. Jacob ducks beneath the branches of the tree and you follow. You are surrounded by hundreds of crystals that are pendulous in the breeze and reflect the moonlight. They glow as brightly as holiday lights. Jacob explains that for some unknown reason, when this healing tree revealed itself from the earth, these crystals sprouted like buds and grew like leaves. Pieces of clear quartz hang like mini icebergs. He explains the stone is known as a master healer. Vibrant purple quartz known as amethyst connects to the crown chakra and helps slow the mind for sleep and tranquility. Jacob says many times he has been given answers in deep concentration from the amethyst crystals. Peachy rose quartz helps heal the heart and foster love. The cobalt blue lapis lazuli opens intuition and connects with the throat chakra so you may speak your truth with the world. Carnelian floats on the breeze and these opaque fiery orange stones connect to your root chakra and ground you to the earth. Hematite glistens in silvery black 
and is a protector that unmasks your inner strength. Moonstone boasts an iridescent shade of ivory and inspires adaptability and being in tune with your flow. Citrine looks like shades of lemon ice and brings joy and prosperity. Aquamarine for serenity and tolerance for others. Jacob reveals how the stone always reminds him to abandon judgment and to stay free from the judgment of others. A wooden swing hangs beneath the canopy of the healing tree. Jacob invites you to go over to the seat and open yourself to any feelings and visions that come up. You hold on to the frayed ropes and hoist yourself onto the seat. Once you settle, Jacob leaves to prepare your sleeping quarters for the night and leave you in peace. As you begin to swing, a cloud of glittering light like stardust forms behind you and mingles with the mist above the forest floor. You feel as though you are inside a kaleidoscope as the glittering crystals shine on you. Shades of purple, pink, blue, and green precious stones twinkle in the moonlight. Earth tones and rich oranges and yellows light up as well. Close your eyes and inhale the fresh air. You sigh as the swing goes forward and your feet ascend towards the sky. You feel the sense of freedom that the forest of twisted trees is known to offer. You open your eyes and swing higher and higher up. You go back and forth and you realize this is life. This is the feeling you had at times, long before you tried to be anything but yourself. This is what it feels like for a young child to run through a field of grass in summer for the first time, to jump into a pile of crisp copper autumn leaves. What it feels like to have the mist of the surf on your face the first time. The warmth of morning sunlight that offers a new day. The rainbow array of crystals that dangle from the twisted branches and twigs. Dance on the autumn winds in tandem with your motions back and forth. Every part of your body is in alignment from head to toe, you feel alive and joyous. You imagine this is how you could feel more often if you simply listened to the deepest parts of yourself. And these parts may only be heard when the rest of the world is dimmed to a quiet hush. You can see yourself as an observer, from the outside looking in. You see the beauty and softness in your face and vitality in your body. This night is a gift. You look to the stars and make a wish. You make as many wishes as it takes to fully see and feel the life you desire. You find you are becoming a bit tired and slow down on the swing. Your feet break on the dusty earth beneath the swing and you gently come to a stop. 
Jacob arrives and says you may take your time, but your room is now ready. Carefully pull yourself out of the swing and follow him. Your energy changed. You feel lighter than you have felt in a long time. To a sensitive soul like Jacob, your aura shines like diamond dust. He smiles softly when he sees how much you have been transformed. Jacob leads you down a mulch path that runs along the riverbank. The smell of burning wood smoke blends with the clean mineral aroma of the river. You see an amber glow in the distance. As you walk farther, more of amber orbs begin to appear. You suddenly realize they are an intricate array of dwellings that rest above the trees. Copper-hued wooden dwellings are in the shapes of spheres, connected by intricate bridges that swing overhead. Jacob guides you to a wooden ramp that leads to a series of stairs. The stairs wind around a tree in a spiral towards the sky and are built to accommodate people of all shapes and sizes. You watch how naturally he ascends despite his stature. He designed the stairs in a way that everyone may feel comfortable. As they go higher and higher up towards his beautiful home, and for those who wish not to walk or are unable, there is a chair and pulley that Jacob uses to bring them to the top. You come to a rope bridge that leads to one of the sleeping spheres in the sky. You follow Jacob to the front door of the cozy dwelling, a hand-carved sign in his delicate and memorable penmanship reads, Hope, and hangs from the front door. Jacob says you are welcome to stay here as long as you like and return any time as well, if only in your dreams. He walks away to his sleeping sphere as you open the door and enter yours. There is a wood stove in the back of the room that glows with marmalade flames. A plush bed is in the center of the room. It is covered with a soft, colorful quilt that depicts the healing tree. All the sparkling colors of the hanging crystals are depicted vibrantly on the quilt. You remove your coat and hang it on a hook near the door. You run your hands across the fabric once again feeling warmed by the kindness of the gift and the appreciation that it is exactly the coat you always wanted. There is a small washroom where you go and splash your face and drink a glass of water. A pair of plush pajamas are folded on a side table. You change into them and feel as though they are the best fitting and softest pajamas you have ever worn. You return to the bed and peel back the quilt. You climb atop the plush mattress and go under the crisp, cool sheets. They smell of fresh linen dried in the sun. Your head sinks into the fluffy pillows that are stuffed with cedar shavings and cotton fluff. The ceilings are very high and a large skylight window spreads across the top of the ceiling over the bed. You look at the stars and velvety black sky. For a moment you feel what it must be like to be a tree and reach for the stars 
and while they may never quite touch them, the twisted trees continue to grow and given their windy branches, it takes even longer for them to achieve height, yet they never stop trying. This thought gives you hope. Your eyelids become very heavy and you close them. The sphere rocks ever so slightly atop the trees and you are gently rocked to sleep. You feel safe, loved, and cared for. You feel open to the new possibilities that will come to you in time. Should you keep listening to your inner voice? This is your path. This is your journey. You decide on the road you choose to forge. But for now, you may let your subconscious mind work out all the details as you surrender to sleep. You are free to cross the bridge that connects you from your waking life to your dreaming life. I am going to count you down, drifting away, floating to sleep. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Finding bliss, finding peace finding joy, finding sleep. It's time to dream away. Good night.